Doing a video on the mouse jiggler. I picked this up at Amazon on Amazon. Uh, one day delivery. It was delivered to New York City. This is a mouse jiggler. It jiggles the mouse on your computer. So the idea behind it is that if you're at work and they're monitoring your mouse movements and your keyboard movements and things like that to monitor if you're working or not, or if you just don't want your mouse, your computer to go to sleep and you don't want to go change, you don't want to change the settings and while you're doing a job, you just want to make sure that your mouse stays active. Or I found sometimes if Sometimes my computer does not see, in, if it sees inactivity, it will sometimes reboot after a Windows update. So I'm hoping that that's what I want to stop. I want to be able to put this on and have the mouse move around and keep Windows updates from rebooting. Let me see how that works. So I'm going to try it for a little bit and I'll finish off the video after a few days and let you know how I feel about it. So let me show it to you. It came in this tiny little box. really small now you buy and use things at your own risk I don't know if this works uh, I'm not using it in a situation where I'm being monitored so I'm not using this at work I'm using this at home so I don't know if it would work uh, at a job site an IT networking site um, I would if you're friends with one of the networking guys that monitor the computers. Maybe he or she can tell you if it's actually showing activity on your computer. Um, that's all I can tell you. But there is no guarantee that this works at all. Small little. Like, thumb. That's the button. It's just on and off. And I think there's a setting for um, for um, doing different things for faster or slower. So I've got to look at the actual instructions. Use this at your own risk. I don't even know if, you know, in this day and age, this could be something that steals information. So that's something you also have to keep aware of since uh, I've never heard of this brand at all. So hopefully it's a legitimate device. I'm going to try it. This is what it says in the instruction. How to use. Remove the protective cover of the product and connect the product to the USB port of the computer. Number two, long press the on and off switch for two seconds. The indicator light will light up, indicating that the product has been turned on. Long press the on and off switch again for two seconds. The indicator light will go out, indicating that the product has been turned off. Step three, when the mouse jiggler is turned on, there are three different tracks for you to choose by short pressing the on and off switch. So I guess once it's on, you short press one, two, and three, since there are three different tracks. The first track is the default one. The mouse pointer will slide across the screen automatically and randomly in a wide range. Track number two, the mouse pointer will slide automatically and randomly in, in a small area on the screen. Track number three, the last track, the mouse pointer will jitter, yep, jitter at a very fast speed and in an extremely small range. This mode is used for not drawing others' attention and won't interfere with regular use of the mouse. All right, let's plug it in. So I was having some problems plugging in this device to the front 
of my computer just wasn't coming up. I'll figure that out later. So I put it into the USB, powered USB 3.0 hub that I have, and you can hear it. Just went on. Okay, and let's turn it on. Now that it's in, I'll press it, turn it on. There it goes, it's on. Press it once to do the mouse movement. I think I have to press it two times for the other mouse movement. I don't see it moving at all. Let me try that again. Okay, there it goes. Two times. That's the second one. And let's do the third one. One, two, three. I don't think that's the third one. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, that's the third one. It's barely moving. I don't know if you can see it on my screen. It's just barely move, moving. The idea is to keep your windows active even when you're not at the, at the mouse or at the keyboard, but you can still use your mouse because the movements are so slight that it's not gonna make a big difference uh, with you using your mouse. Pretty cool. So again, let's do the, fir the first one. Then we'll do the second one. Then we'll do the third one. I noticed to get it working, uh, let's say I'm at three right now, so I wanna get to one. It is moving right now, that's three, it's the slight movement. So you can still use your mouse. But in order to use it, you kind of have to press it uh, one additional time. So in order for me to do one, I have to press it, to go back to track one, I have to press it kind of two times. And that's track one, I just pressed it twice. In order for me to get it to do track two, I technically have to kind of press it three times because once to stop it, and then two to do track two. One, one, two, and you see? I just pressed it three, time, three times actually. And the third one, same thing, it's really not three presses, it's really four. So it's gonna be one to stop it, one, two, three. And now it's on track three. That's the way it works. I've noticed. It's the only way I could get it to work. So I'm gonna try it out for a few days, see what happens. See if I like it. And I'll let give you my final opinion. Again, I'm a regular person, just buys gadgets, try them out and see what happens. So after, I've been about three days, four days. I like it. I like the product. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, again, just to, uh, it's probably much better to uh, use it or try it. And again, I'm not promoting this or anything, but if you're being monitored at work, do this at your own risk. I don't know if it actually works to show movement of the mouse. So, it's been working every time I, I turn it on. And then I'll press it. You can see it, it's just moving all by itself without me doing a thing. And it works, and it's tiny. Very, very tiny, very small. Um, so I really, really like it. I have no complaints. It's been three days, four days, no issues. Every time I turn it on, it comes on. Every time I turn it off, it turns off. Um, this is just to, and again, I can't confirm this, but I think it also helps with the Windows updates not rebooting while I'm using it. Um, I don't remember ever a Windows update rebooting while I was using the computer. So I think maybe there's something to that. So maybe you don't want an update to restart your computer, which has happened to me. I'm in the middle of synchronizing two NAS drives, which may take like, two or three days to do and on the second day it just reboots and if I'm not paying attention I have to restart the whole job again um, and if I don't then I miss out on several hours that I could have gotten it done 
So I think it does that, that, it, that Windows sees, hey, they're using the computer, let me not reboot. I can't confirm it though. I cannot confirm that. It's just my opinion. I think it's doing that. So um, I'm gonna be using it for that purpose also to keep uh, Windows from rebooting on, uh, on its uh, updates, which I don't understand. You know, back in the day, you used to choose when to reboot or even to update at all. But now Windows forces those updates and there's not much you can do except putting it in metered mail. But I do want the updates downloaded. I just want to choose when to update, when to install, and when to restart. Um, hopefully Windows 11, which I haven't, I don't have it on this computer, will give you more control over that. But I think that this will definitely work if you have a screensaver and most of the time you want to keep the screensaver on, but those few times that you don't want the screensaver to come on, uh, you can use this instead of going into settings and changing your settings. Maybe you want to keep it the way it is and you want to be able to just use a button to keep the mouse jiggling. And again, to show performance or to show that you're working. Whether it works or not, I don't know. I honestly, if I was working for a company, I wouldn't trust plugging anything into a computer that actually, something like this, that actually is owned by the corporation or company. Um, I don't trust things like this. I would use it on a personal computer, but on a company computer, I don't know. Be careful, it could cost you your job. They sell the jigglers where actually you plug it into a power source and it actually physically moves your mouse. For me, that wouldn't work because I use a thumb mouse. I don't use the mouses that move from underneath, but in my at work, you probably have the regular mouse. Those will probably be, be better. Again, I'm not promoting that. You do everything at your own risk because if your boss sees that on your desk and he knows what it is, you know, you don't want to get in trouble. So be careful. For me, I'm using this again to see if it keeps Windows from updating and also to keep from the, the screensaver from starting. I really like it, it actually works. All right, I hope you liked the video, I hope it helps, and again, at your own risk, okay? I, it's just my opinion, regular guy who likes gadgets, reviews them and looks at them and tries them out and lets you know how I feel, but I am not an expert. Um, so, uh, I wish you the best. Thank you for watching, bye.